Missed you this morning, Doc. Get in the Animus. I trust you're well rested? Ready for your remaining trials? I am, but I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The Merchant King of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name, that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes, parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects, to be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. Tamir equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities. They meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try. Then they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you in gratitude for the good work you've done. Greetings, Altair. What news? Al-Muallim has named another. Calls himself Sabrand. I am familiar with the man. Newly appointed leader of the Knights Teutonic he resides in the Venetian Quarter, and runs Akka's port. I'll start my work at once. Here are the places where you should focus your search. On the docks east of here, among the ships and their crews. At the chapel to the northeast, near the cross overlooking the port. And to the north, in front of St. John's Gate. This is most helpful. My thanks for the guidance. Altair. Yes, Rafiq. I owe you an apology. For what? For doubting your dedication to our cause. No, it was I who erred. I believed myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safety. It's getting worse. His paranoia knows no bounds. He's doubled our shifts. No one sleeps. Wasn't so bad till he decided to make the port his home. He's planning something at sea. That's why he came here. Planning what? What's the meaning of this? The two of you off in a corner, whispering, plotting? Nothing of the sort. We were only... Only what? What secrets are you keeping? You misunderstand. Damned assassins, they're probably here right now, watching us. Do you find this amusing? Do you? Pull off while you can. 
Double the patrols. Which ones? All of them! But we don't have the men. Find them! Recall our knights from the field if you must. Get away from You me. tell him I said no. I won't have you damn soldiers poking about in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. He isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's rich. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made of the docks. <laughs> I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. I ain't grow tired of this. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it'll change my mind. Now go on, get out of here. <laughs> Here is what I have to tell you. The only thing more dangerous than a drunken sailor is one who is also angry. I know it does not seem like much, but with your wisdom, I am sure it will help. All dock vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for a reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely. It's not my fault. I'm only following orders. If you want your ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? Sabran's claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. They're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah ad -Din intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you. I stole this letter earlier today. Read it over. Hopefully it'll be a use. Here you are. This map has served me well in the past. Hopefully, it will do the same for you. Greetings, brother. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Of course, Rafiq. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. You are mistaken, Master Sibrand. I would never propose violence against any man, and, and most certainly not against you. So you say, and yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing. Which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident. And they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then truly the Creator will provide for you. 
Let him stay my hand! You've gone mad! Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. Seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Acre! Stay vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards. Now get back to work. None of you will lift a hand in defense of your master! I'll take care of this heathen myself! You'll be safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this life is all we have. Linger a while longer, then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea, to keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool, from the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds, murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders. Believing in my cause, same as you. Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life has ended. So it is, so it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me, then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you.
Welcome home, child. What news? Another of the named is put to rest. Then it would appear your work is nearly complete, and your status restored. A question, Master, if I may. Ask, and I will answer. Why these men, Jubayer and Sabrand? Ah, don't you see? They paved the way for change. Ensure threats both old and new are not given cause to intervene. To weaken them is to weaken our enemy. I suppose that makes sense. Were these men to continue their work, our work would quickly be undone. How is that? We've caused them much grief. We strike at the arms, yes. But this is a Hydra that you face, and it is quick to replace that which is severed. Then we should lop off its head and be done with this. Soon, soon. We are close. Only one more man stands between us and our ultimate goal. I will return to my work. The sooner this last man dies, the sooner I might face our true enemy. Before you go, I have a question for you. Of course. What is the truth? We place faith in ourselves. We see the world the way it really is, and hope that one day all mankind might see the same. What is the world, then? An illusion. One which we can either submit to, as most do, or transcend. What is it to transcend? To recognize nothing is true and everything is permitted. That laws arise not from divinity but reason. I understand now that our creed does not command us to be free. It commands us to be wise. Do you see now why the Templars are a threat? Whereas we would dispel the illusion, they would use it to rule. Yes. To reshape the world in an image more pleasing to them. That is why I sent you to steal their treasure. That is why I keep it locked away. And that is why you kill them. So long as even one survives, so too does their desire to create a new world order. Take your equipment. Seek out this last man. With his death, Robert de Sable will at last be vulnerable. It will be done. Safety and peace upon you, Altair.